Are you embarrassed by the way your legs look in shorts or skirts? Many women try to hide varicose and spider veins, but thanks to advances in vascular treatment, many are learning to love their legs again. Joining me now is Dr. Jeffrey Goldblatt to talk about advanced treatment options that are designed to make you look and absolutely feel better. Welcome, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. Well, tell me more about circulatory centers and your mission. Well, basically, Circulatory Centers is a corporate group of multiple offices doing the standard sort of present treatments for varicose veins. That's all they do is they want to make veins go away, make people's legs look nicer and feel better. Absolutely. We know a lot of people don't feel good when they see these veins. Basically, what are some of the main reasons people go to Circulatory Centers for well, treatment? Well, basically, they want to either get rid of what they see which is varicose veins or spider veins, or they're having symptoms of discomfort, various, many different types of symptoms that are, can occur with varicose veins. How, does, how do varicose veins and spider veins develop? It's basically a valve problem. If you think of the normal function of your blood stream is to pump blood out of your heart and it returns through the venous system. The heart has a pumping mechanism, the vein has a valve mechanism. And if the valves fail, as the blood returns to the heart, it creates kind of a back pressure. And the back pressure can be exerted into the spider veins or varicose veins, and it's called reflux. And that's what we check for. So sort of blocking the blood flow? Not blocking it, just reducing the effectiveness of it as it flows forward. It goes forward and then goes back a little bit and then forward again. Do most women, I guess, do, are there more women who, who have this type of issue versus men? It is more women than men. Why is that? Pregnancy. That's basically the basically, reason? Basically, yeah, yeah. But men do also men have get it. varicose veins yeah, and spider veins. It's a congenital thing. It's a valve defect, and it happens to young girls, too. But uh, pregnancy seems to be the culprit for most women. Oh, goodness. Okay, something for me to look forward to. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at a picture right here. And I believe this is the one with varicose veins. And mm -hmm. let's just see. There it is. And you can see that the vein is, is bulging, bulging out. There. Yeah. Would you consider this a, a major uh, problem here, or is that a, a minor one here? That looks fairly major. It depends on your how you interpret major, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, you have a cosmetic major one, and then you have a symptomologic symptoms that and are major. So that's the before picture, then the after picture, it looks much better. What, right. is, what, what happened there? Well, two things. One, you have to diagnose what's causing those veins to stick out. And once you know what it is, then you do treatment. One cause may be, I call it like a Christmas tree, where you have a trunk and branches. We examine the trunk with our ultrasound machine looking for this reflux. The branches are what you see. And if we see reflux, we can seal off the vessel that's causing the reflux. And in many cases, the veins disappear. They don't dissolve, they just disappear. A second situation is there's no reflux visible to us, but still the varicose veins are visible to you and cause symptoms. And for that, we can do something called a phlebectomy, which is to actually remove them. It's quite different than the old-fashioned strippings that you yes, heard. Yes, we. In fact, yeah. let's take a look at the next picture, and we can really see a more severe case here. Mm -hmm. And so, but let's that, talk about that that phlebectomy. Yeah. In regards to this. This patient, yeah. Because it appears this is what the patient had done. No, not no? necessarily. Really? No. Again, back. To, if you can stop the blood from flowing slightly backwards, the reflux, then what happens in many many cases is the veins start to disappear. They'll look like your leg normally looks if you're lying down and you have the leg up in the air. Because veins, the pressure that's exerted by veins are related to gravity, so there's no venous pressure if, if you're flat. But if you have your legs down, then you can see them bulge out. <clears throat> we'll talk, I want to talk more about vein stripping. I mean, sure. in the years past, those were something you didn't want to hear because I know that uh, most people probably thought that was a very painful procedure. And it was. Yes. And so now what do you have? Well, what you have now is the, the vein that was stripped out years ago was usually called the saphenous vein. And it went from your groin to your ankle. 
The other vein was the, the, what they called a the short saphenous, and that was from the back of your knee to your ankle. And we would actually make a cut and put a, a wire inside that vein, and it would go down to wherever the exit was, and then you would actually tie the ends off and take it out. Then what was left over, you had marked, and then you'd make multiple cuts over these veins. And I'm sure people have seen older people on the beaches with these big cuts. It yes. looks like a ladder. That was what they call the ligation. This was a stripping and ligation. And now they, what do they do now? Now we do the reflux study. And if the vein that we used to strip out has reflux, we insert either a laser fiber or a radio frequency fiber inside the vein with local anesthesia and we're able to heat up the vein so it just shrivels up and closes. It's called, we call it a closure procedure. Once you do that, then there's no reflux down that large trunk. So those branches in many cases start to disappear. Most of the time they don't go away immediately, but if you give them time, they'll go away. I understand that this is covered by insurance? As long as you're having symptoms and it's not cosmetic, that usually is. And can this be done as an outpatient service? Yes. We do, we do, or should we say, I do 95% of everything as an outpatient. And what about uh, how long, what about recovery? Uh, the recovery is very limited. I mean, it, when we do this, it's called an endovenous laser ablation, which I happen to do, but we just ask the patient to be not as active for a week. I recommend that they do no running, biking, jogging, heavy lifting, just for a week. And that's to let this seal and to put no unusual venous pressure on what we just sealed off. Now, when you do all this, <laughs> is there a, the risk of it coming back? Tiny. 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 And we've only been doing these ablations in the United States for about 10 years. Europe is ahead of us. Everything is done in Europe before we get approval from the FDA. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And they've been doing longer. But basically, uh, a very tiny percentage, uh, maybe what we call... Um, they open up, it opens up again, uh, maybe less than 1%. All right. Now, for more information on circulatory centers, go to veinhealth.com or call this 800 line, 800 350 2163. There are three locations one in Old Lyme, Norwich, and Colchester. Dr. Goldblatt, thanks for being here. You're welcome. Wonderful information. Thank you.